LibGX provides various input handling classes for mobile and desktop application. Taking inputs is very important for all games because you would need some way to play. You can register keyboard events for event handling, touchscreen events for phones and stuff, and for those who like arcade games, you can use Joystick, which LibGX provides support. LibGX also provides support for browser-based games for those who like using browsers for everything. That being said, if you're new to LibGTX, I do have a video covering the full installation with the new GTX liftoff tool. Otherwise, let's get into the video. Often you would need to handle receive events using the input listeners that are registered to action call methods. When registering mouse and touch events, they are treated the same, lacking multi-touch support for our touch screens. I will have a link in the description towards all the video resource. Now the same follows for a keyboard, is key press. Now to specify our key, we can do input.keys.the letter that you want on your keyboard, in this case W, and this will make sure that if the key was pressed, it will return true. Now there's a slight problem with the implementation that we had before. If we hold down the key, it will be continuous active, but if we do is key just pressed, that means it will only fire when the key was just pressed. Same thing follows for the mouse button. We can do is button just press by doing inputs.buttons.write, choosing our button, and this will only activate when the button is pressed once. However, the input interface has more methods defined than what we show. If we mid a mouse button click on the interface, we can see it brings us towards a page where there is a whole bunch of subclasses. Just as shown from previous, these two subclasses are the classes that you can use to find mouse and keyboard buttons to register for your application. Now, LibGDX provides an interface called the Input Processor, which is the top hierarchy when defining inputs. It has some nice methods such as key down and defining touch events. And you can also use the input adapter by extending. For example, I have a custom handler that will extend a input adapter like this. Then we can override one of the methods like key type. Then to log our keys to the console, we can do system.out.println with the character. Now, this probably isn't a good, useful way of doing it, but you can also define key codes, which will be the key down method, which will give you the key code of the key pressed. And if you want to handle whether the key was up, you can do use the key up, which uses the key code. Then handling methods using touch devices, such as touch down, touch up, touch cancel, and touch drag. Shown here, these methods give you the screen X and the screen Y for the screen coordinates, as well as the pointer and the button. Now, if we go back to gdx.input, input has a new method called set input processor. And if we take a look at it, you can see it takes a implementation of input processor, which we do have. Next, inside the parameters, we defined our handler by doing new custom handler, passing in just like this. Now, as you can see, when I press the key on the keyboard, it gets printed out to the console, just as we said previous. Now we can also register a new first person camera controller like this, where we do new first person camera controller. Next, we can pass in the camera of our choice, passing into the constructor like this. Next, we can use the gdx.input just like shown, calling the set input processor just like this. When we are defining our handler, the only thing different, we are using a first person controller. Lastly, we can put our first person camera controller into the parameters of the method just like this. Now here I have this scene where if I move around just as shown before with the first person camera controller, if you look at my coordinates, I am actually controlling the camera based off towards my key inputs. One last topic is pulling. Pulling refers to the state an input device being changed, such as key being pressed or a finger being touched on screen. The best way to get the most quick results would be handler, but if you are not worried about the results, you can have key press as like the same methods that were shown first in this video. All right, everyone, that wraps up everything in today's video. I hope you learned more about input handling and pulling events. I will have a link in the description if you guys want to check out the resources found in this video. And also be sure to check out the libgdx docs. All right, have a good one.